G'day and welcome back to RC Model Reviews. I've got some new FPV products from Hobby King that they've sent me to take a look at. And this is the first of them. It's the Aomway 700 line wide dynamic range video camera for FPV. And it's quite a small little thing. There you go, palm of the hand. Uh, they've sent this one, it's got a 2.1 millimeter lens, which means quite a wide angle of view. And if you look at the lens, you can see it's quite big, quite a large lens by FPV standards. Uh, the camera itself is quite small, it's quite light, there's no mounting hardware, so uh, well, actually tell a lie, there is some mounting hardware, that's what surprised me actually, there's no, obviously there's no bracket or anything on this thing, but it comes with one of these little hanger mounts, you know, the little ring grip mounts, which is quite cool, so I guess that can be used to mount it on your mini quad or anything you like, so yeah, bonus thumbs up for having some mounting hardware, got a cable, um, that's obviously the, uh, that'll plug into one of your favourite video transmitters, that's a fairly common sort of connector for the um, you know, a number of different video transmitters use that, and it's got other plugs here, oh, actually I haven't even looked at these, I think we might have two sets of plugs, we do, so you can make up your own to whatever you want out of that one, or if you've got a video camera, a video transmitter that supports that connector, you can just plug and play, super easy, it comes with a little brochure, gives you the specs on the back, doesn't really tell you much. But as far as specs go, let me read some of it out to you, it's got a, it's Power NTSC, I guess you choose when you order, and uh, it's a one third inch, uh, says comms, says comms, but I think they mean CMOS uh, sensor. So, you know, usually CMOS cameras don't work as well as CCD, but we'll find out. It has uh, 976 horizontal picture elements and 496 vertical elements, which means it's not as high resolution as it says 700 TV line, but, um, uh, you know, normally a PAL signal, for example, has 625 horizontal lines and but this only has 496 pixels so it doesn't seem to be using the full potential in terms of resolution so I'm not expecting this to be a crispy super sharp camera it's got a 2 to 1 interlace which you expect that standard definition has a signal to noise ratio of, of more than 45 decibels what does that mean well that just means that the, the the amount of noise that you get it's not super low noise but it's it's super you know it's adequate has an automatic gain control as everything does automatic white balance as everything does and all the other standard stuff it requires 120 milliamps and it actually runs at 3.6 to 5.5 volts so it's not going to plug straight into your 12 volt or your three cell lipo you're going to have to use a beck or a video transmitter that has a 5 volt output it's quite important to remember that there you go total weight's 12 grams according to the little brochure so there you go um, it's obviously an alternative to the other video cameras on the market and being CMOS, as I say, I wouldn't expect to have fantastic performance but having said that, some of these new CMOS cameras are getting pretty damn good and I've been impressed with some of the results but I guess the best thing to do would be to try it out, fly it, see what it looks like and in order to do that, actually Hobby King sent me something else, let me show you what else they sent me they sent me this, this is the very same camera but it's got the Aomai 200 milliwatt 5.8 gigahertz transmitter on the back of it see how that fits together so it's like a video backpack system fpv backpack and that's brilliant it's actually again it's really small it's quite compact so it has the 2.1 millimeter lens so it's quite wide angle and it's got an sma connector on here worth noting that if you uh, already have some antennas this is sma i don't know if you can get it in reverse polarized sma or not but um yeah so this is going to be the way i test it obviously oh, what i'm going to do now is i'm going to put this on my axm mount it on the AXN, use a bit of core flute, bit of velcro, throw an antenna on the top of it because they do provide this but you all know what I think about those and we'll go and fly it, see what it looks like. Let's do that now! Right, the first thing I have to say is that the conditions for filming an FPV camera or testing an FPV camera were quite trying today. You can see there's a lot of cloud, a lot of bright white cloud which is going to really test out that wide dynamic range because even cameras like the HS1177 and the regular Sony 600 TV line camera do struggle in conditions like this. The problem is that when you get a lot of that white cloud in the field of view, the AGC on the camera winds down, that's the automatic gain control, and it makes the ground look darker. So that's what we're going to see in this flight. Unfortunately, that's just the way it is. There's not a lot you can do about that. Now remember my DVR, it actually affects the resolution it's much sharper in real life than you see on the DVR that's just a function of the DVR compression and limited resolution but as you can see the model itself uh, if the nose is up the ground looks a little bit dark but when the 
nose comes down, the ground lightens up and you can see all the ground features. And it really, it wasn't a lot different to what I would expect from one of those uh, CMOS cameras, oh, sorry, CCD cameras. So I was reasonably impressed. Now I don't usually fly with a 2.1 millimeter lens, but this has still got a, a really good field of view. There's not a lot of horizon curvature when we uh, raise the lower the nose, which means that it doesn't give you a lot of barrel distortion. Quite good for a 2.1 millimeter lens, I have to say. And overall, I gotta say, I'm quite impressed. Now the video link here, obviously that's the Amway, or Aonway, whatever you say, 200 milliwatt system. It's pretty solid, there's no problems at all. As you can see, this is, there's no dropouts, there's no snow, there's no real noise. It's a pretty solid link, so not, nothing to complain about there. So this little backpack actually seems to perform pretty damn well. And the big thing, the really big thing is no latency. Well, very, very low latency. I've reviewed the Mobius, 200 milliwatt backpack setup, and there was a lot of latency in that. Not so important on the AXN perhaps, but when you're flying something low and fast, then latency becomes a real issue. And as you'll see in this video, I was able to fly low and fast without any problems at all. And I didn't perceive any latency with the setup that I've got here. So yeah, it's great. Uh, I really am impressed. Now I can't, I don't know what the price is. I haven't looked the price up. So I will put a note in the description as to what I think the value is like. But you can see it's just, you know, it works. What more can I say? Seems to work really well. So if you're looking for a backpack to throw on any old model, just a bit of Velcro or a Velcro strap, then hey, this has got to be a contender. And to be totally honest, I think I would rather use this than the Mobius backpack if I wasn't having to get HD recorded video at the same time. So there you go. That's the little, what is it, Aonway? It's got a box here, what does it say? It doesn't tell me. Anyway, that's the Aonway video backpack system with the little 700 TV line wide dynamic range CMOS camera. If you've got comments, if you've got questions, put them in the space provided by YouTube. I'll do my best to answer them. In the meantime, continue watching the video and I'll catch you later. It's time for me to get back to the bench. Bye for now.